Yes, friends, there are huge developments being made to President Biden's legislative agenda. Democratic Senator Elizabeth Warren has just announced she's open to breaking up the Build Back Better bill to get the bill across the finish line. So this could all mean passing a fourth stimulus package even sooner than expected. This is all breaking news in Congress, friends, that you need to know. Also, remember that I'm here every day to help everyone in this community. I am your daily advocate, and I want to support all of you by sharing with you the latest, most reliable, and accurate news on fourth stimulus checks. So please make sure to share this video on social media and with your friends if they need more honest news on the fourth stimulus package. Input of Senator Manchin. Uh, as a former governor, as a former secretary of state, he did great things in his state to, again, stop big dark money from having an impact on elections. He has a, there, a voter ID law that they have there uh, that has been incorporated into this. So he knows the subject, and this bill is a reflection of some of his input, and hopefully he will defend his bill in terms of having it brought to the floor. But it's no use wasting your time asking me questions about what the Senate will do. You just have to go ask them what their next path is. But it is really important for the American people to know, because what is stunning is to see the misrepresentations that are made, for example, on the floor of the House uh, now. I mean, I won't even go into them because I don't want to return to their misrepresentations. But the facts are, as I said, partisan redistricting and that. Big, dark money dominating politics and that. Suppressing the vote, nullifying elections, and that. Supporting the grassroots for that. And then, as I say, the voting rights, which has not been partisan before in recent history and now has become. So in terms of the process in the Senate, but we are excited because we pass these bills again and again in two different Congresses, and as recently as last year in this Congress, and uh, they're... We had to do them again because we're in a new Congress. We also had to do the Voting Rights Act with a fresh array of hearings around the country because of violations that the Republicans committed in the 2020 election were so blatant that it established another level of uh, documentation for the need of the Voting Rights Act. Okay, everyone, so negotiations have started back up again in Congress. Democratic Senator Elizabeth Warren just told CBS News that she is open to breaking up the Build Back Better bill to increase its chances of passing through the Senate. When asked about the timeline of President Biden's social spending bill, Senator Warren said today, I am open to whatever is going to get us across the finish line, knowing we're not going to get one single Republican to lower the price of prescriptions, not one to give us universal child care, not one who's going to say that these corporations that make billions in profits are going to not get away any longer with paying zero in taxes. We've got all those in the Build Back Better. We just need to get what we can across the finish line. Friends, I definitely do agree that Congress should try passing Biden's Build Back Better bill by splitting it into two separate packages. That would likely speed up the process. The expanded child tax credit was one of the programs that Senator Warren had singled out that needed to be passed as soon as possible. The program, which impacted 36 million families, was temporarily paused this month. So it's extremely important that our lawmakers take action now for the American people I know millions of Americans are having a very tough time at the moment as this crisis continues to negatively affect people financially. Another fourth stimulus check needs to hit people's bank accounts. This year, we are already starting off with a new surge in this crisis. Many experts have stated it could take months for the surge to disappear. That scenario could force many businesses to shut down and then layoffs to ensue. Sadly, if that were to happen and the economy were to decline once again, then it could definitely lead 
to another stimulus payment, organizations of a major petition on change.org have been calling for $2,000 monthly payments for adults and $1,000 per child since last year. This petition is already one of change.org's most signed efforts. It has now topped over 3 million signatures with a new goal of 4.5 million names. The petition was established by Stephanie Bonin, who was a restaurant owner in Denver and who stated that money was needed as a country was deeply struggling. Friends, the keyword for this video is ferry boat. If you would like to enter this coming Friday's $100 Walmart gift card giveaway, please click and like my videos, comment below this keyword and any keyword of any video that you watch, and please do make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. The very sad fact is that recovery has yet to reach many Americans. There are several reasons why checks need to be sent out immediately because people are still struggling from this crisis. It is of dire importance that our lawmakers take action now. As it took nine months for Congress to send a stimulus check and just moments to spend it. Moving forward, Congress should make recurring monthly checks automatic. That's if certain triggers are met. There have been a total of three previous rounds of direct stimulus payments. 1200 in March 2020, 600 in December 2020, and $1,400 in March 2021. The expanded child tax credit also provided up to an additional $300 a month to many U.S. families. There are multiple states that have already agreed to send out their own fourth stimulus checks. So friends, it's really wonderful to know that at least state governments are lending a helping hand to help Americans in some shape or form. For example, the state of California has been one state that has sent out hundreds of millions of dollars in relief money to its struggling residents. The direct payments that were issued to California residents in 2021 were possible because of a massive budget surplus that was in excess of the state constitutional limit. This required the state of California to issue the money from the budget surplus back to taxpayers in some form and they chose to do so via stimulus checks that were issued to low to moderate income earners in the state. And as the crisis continues till today, it is very likely that we will see more and more states decide to send out their own fourth stimulus payments. Friends, that's the end of this daily stimulus update video. Thank you so very much for everyone who's watching. And I truly appreciate all of you. To say thank you, I'm giving away $100 Walmart gift cards every Friday. If you would like to enter my giveaway, please click and like my videos. Comment below each keyword from each video that you watch. And please do make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much, friends, and have a very, very blessed Tuesday.